so excited about this film. I mean, it's such a wonderful story, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's a, it's um, a slightly bigger story than, than the first film. It was about him sort of finding a, a home and a family. He's got that, so now it's to think about him finding his place in the wider community. So he comes up against lots of new characters in this film, which is exciting for us. Where do you begin where you, you know you're making a sequel, so you kind of have to slightly make it bigger, but also anchor Paddington in, in, in his roots? Was that, was that a difficult challenge to balance? Uh, yes, it's always a challenge, but you know, the books are there for us to keep us anchored to the character. And when we were thinking of storyline to the sequel, we um, just went back to the books and read them all, and they always little seeds of ideas come from from those there's one where he's a mr gruber takes him to an antiques um auction and he ends up buying something that somebody else that a, that a thief wants someone wants it and that gave us the idea for the pop-up book and you know so um as long as we stick to this sort of philosophy of the book and the character that was that was um uh, michael bond you know created then we we and we think we have and yeah, people seem to like him. And with regards to kind of the animation of the book, are you, are you when you're writing, are you writing in pictures or words? Because the way that that, that book is animated within the film as well is, is a real work of art, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's quite difficult when you, you don't have your lead character until quite late on in the, in the process. But everyone, thankfully with the first film, we know what Huntington looks like and how he moves and how how brilliantly he's he's um, realised. So, so um, everyone can doesn't have to use their imagination quite so much when we're when when the actors are acting with him as well. They know what he, he's like, so it's, it's good. Yeah. And, and this story, what strikes me as well is that there's such an emotional core, and and the audience do go on an emotional journey on, on this film, don't they? Yes, we, we had that idea quite early on that um, he's an, an immigrant really, but who's found his home in London. But a part of his heart is in Peru, which is his Aunt Lucy. And we feel that's every sort of parent and child, you know, this really that, that bond. And we wanted to um, really sort of do a, a movie that sort of had, you know, had, had that in mind and had that emotional connection.